Okay, now that you have completed your Bitmoji, you are ready to go ahead and put it in Canvas. So I'm in just a past Canvas course of mine. Right now my homepage is just set to modules, but I want to use my virtual classroom that I just built as my homepage, as that landing page for my students. So to do that, I'm going to go right here to Pages. I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to call it Chemistry Homepage. The students don't see the name of this page, so just name it something that you can identify it as. Now I need to embed this, so I'm going to go to File, Publish to the Web, and I'm going to click on Embed. For sizing, I usually keep this at a medium if you have done just the regular Google slide sizing. It covers most of the screen for the students. It just seems to be a pretty good size. You can make it smaller, you can make it larger, and it lets you do some custom sizes. Um, I've never used the custom option, but it is there. The slide advancement doesn't matter for us because we only have one slide and they're not going to be clicking through this as a presentation. It's more going to act like an image. So I don't need to change anything from there. and I'm just going to click Publish. OK. So now it gives me that embed code, so I'm just going to copy that. Go back to my Canvas page, and I'm just have my cursor in that rich text editor. And I'm going to click right here where it says Insert slash Edit Media. I'm going to click on Embed, and then I'm going to paste that embed code in there and press OK. So now that Google presentation is set up. So you see that Google slide, it's ready to go. The one thing that people um, have asked about is linking within Canvas. So with buttons, it's pretty easy because they're a stagnant image to link within Canvas. But with a Google slide, it's an embedded document and not just an image. So you have to kind of go a little bit of a roundabout way. So my cursor's just down here at the bottom. I'm wanting to go to Unit 0, that's the module that I want to take my students to. So I'm going to click on Modules, I'm going to scroll down, it says Unit 0, I'm going to click that. Now this populates a link like you would see if you were doing a page or doing an assignment that you wanted it linked to something else in Canvas. But I don't want it down here, I want it linked up here. So I'm going to go click on it, click, right click, copy link. So again, right click on it, copy link address, and I have to go back into my Google slide to link it. So I'm going to click on what I want linked, going to click Control K, or you can click the link button up here either way, and then I'm going to paste that and press apply. So this is the one thing that I will have to change for me weekly, um, depending on if you're doing it by unit, by day, whatever's going to work for you. And now it's ready to go. You don't have to worry about updating it here because it's already updated. It's part of the beauty of Google Drive. So I'm going to erase this down here because I don't want that showing up for my students. And I'm just going to push Save. So you can test this out. So check out an external link. Okay, we're great there. Let's check out something that goes to a Google Doc. Okay, we're great there. And then let's check out something that's within Canvas. And we're great there. So what that link does, and I have mine going to a module, takes it to Unit 0. So when it opens that page, Unit 0 is at the very top. Now that doesn't mean that's the only thing they can see. They can scroll and see the other modules above it or if there are modules below it. But that way, they are looking at exactly where you want them to look at. So that makes it a little more streamlined for students. So I feel good if like this is ready to use. So I'm going to go back to Pages, because I want this to now be my home page. Under Pages, I'm going to look for that home page. I'm going to publish it. And I'm going to click those three dots and select Use as Front Page. Now what Use as Front Page means on this page is now when I click on pages it's going to take me to that instead of my list of pages. 
I do not allow my students to see pages, so that doesn't really matter for me. But if you are using pages as a resource for students, keep that in mind. I, however, want this to be my home page. So I'm going to click back on home, which again, right now is set to modules. And I'm going to click choose home page. And I want to choose page front page. And it tells me that that's the chemistry home page so that I know I can click change and choose a different page. But that's the only one that I have set in there. I'm going to push save. And now this is what my students will see when they click on my course. So if they're on their dashboard, they click into my course. That's the very first thing they're going to see. And that's where all of those links, you can see that it changes into uh, where I can click a link, are going to show up on there. So it makes it super streamlined and it's right there on the very front page for your students to use.